very famous British man by the name of Adam Smith in history. But tonight, a fresh moment for the fans. The loudest we've heard of all night, I'm telling you, Dean, for the pro debut of Adam Smith from Coventry, England. 29 years old, 5 foot 11, after a successful four fight amateur career, he looks to steal the show with a spectacular performance here at Welterweight in the UK MMA Seas. If you were to ask him his style, he would say, standing on my feet. He's got such a strong mindset and explosive power that's second to none, Chris. Now, the word was that he's been working on the takedowns and submissions quite a bit this camp, but it's not always enough to play to the areas of development. When he tells us the boxing's more fluid and fluent, I think that also means a fighter who knows where his strengths are. He's been sharpening his skills. He sees his opponent as nothing. He thinks more about making bigger fights. He's just such a confident man, coupled with the skills to back it up, makes him very dangerous. Some great coaches there. Some guys with high level experience in all the disciplines. But when you learn to paint well with one color, like this guy did with his hands, you start to transfer that skill into other areas of your development. Excellence translates to excellence. Dean, I think that's what we're gonna see, a moment of brilliance here tonight with an Adam Smith. Often what pulls out brilliance, Chris, is adversity or a massive support and a drive. And he has extensive support from his family. He said he loves to fight and he wants to do it his whole life and support his family with it. So he's, this is his likelihood he's gonna really try and get it. And his opponent. Lucas Sveridovic. And a very confident entrance here for the Polish fighter tonight, and Lukas Sveridovic, 28 years old, a three-fight professional veteran, and an ultimate training center representative. Lukas bouncing, rocking, Really, really, really tough. This guy loves to get in the trenches and throw for the fences. Loves to get down and really make it a fast-paced fight, Dean. Vocal fans for this guy, too. What do you expect? Expect fireworks, really powerful and fast punches from Lucas. He brings to the table such an extensive athletic ability coupled with technical brilliance. Now, he's got three fights to his name. No doubt knows that this is the first one for Adam. A little touch of gloves, but there's no doubt a lot of hype behind this matchup. Back to Buddy Johnson. Ladies and gentlemen, we get ready for three five minute rounds in the professional welterweight division. This battle is sponsored by Maximum Group and MaximumGroup.net voice and data solutions. Ladies and gentlemen, Birmingham. Our fighters are ready. Our officials are ready. Fight fans, make some noise if you're ready! <laughs> if it is first, fighting at the blue corner. This man weighed in officially at 76 kilograms and making his professional debut. Fighting out of Coventry, England, he is Adam Smith! His opponent fighting out of the red corner. This man weighed in officially at 76.6 kilograms. He has a professional record of one win with two losses and zero draws. Fighting out of Birmingham, England, he is Lucas Sweredovic. When the action begins, your referee in charge, Mr. Simon Small. The fans are split over this one, but they're all out in force tonight here at the Mixed Martial Arts Championship out of the red corner. 28 years old at welterweight one and two. Lukasz Svirovic taking on Adam Smith, making his debut in the blue. 29 years old. Both men very intense and eager to get things underway. Big right hand lands for Smith. Lukasz pushes him away. Trading off of the center of the cage, big leg kicks. Massive overhand right there from Lukas. 
and you could smell the high octane during the walkouts. It was beginning to boil over during the standoff there. But right now, it really seems to me that neither man wants to get out of the opening 60 seconds, Dean. Smith looking for the takedown. The two of the fighters that ultimately wants to take down. He needs to alleviate that underhook, the left underhook there of Lukash. Big knee on the inside from Adam. And as pushing him away now is Smith. Stiff left hand from Smith. Finishing with a right kick to the body. Lukash stalks onwards and stands in front of him. Landon, watch out for the overhand right. You can see it there. That bolo punch comes in so quick. Smith returns the favor. Big overhand right there from Smith. Just missed his mark. So think about his distance a bit more. And start thinking about pummeling in this position to improve his grappling ability, the effectiveness of the takedown. Big right kick for Smith. I love the way he puts that one up to the midsection on the exit. Smith with the rear tee. Luca Smith fighting at distance, very smart right now. Smith needs to continue to trade, but trade with combinations and not run into power shots like that. Big knee there in the exchange from Lukash. I think that wobbled Smith. Seems to be recovering here, but Lukash looking for the back. Smith fighting for wrist control there. Smith doing a great job to defend against that back take. They're calling for breathing right now. Smith needs to really slow down the pace because Lukash is a dynamo. Smith needs to be careful about being too reckless. I think his corner sensed that. Calm, composure, base out. Pick your shots, don't rush in. Deep breath from Smith. Big right hand clips him from Lukash. You get the feeling it might only take one, Dean. It's been a conundrum of carnage from both guys. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Swinging. look at the look. Swinging and missing at the moment. Big teeth, but a miss there from Adam Smith. Lukash is on the outside looking for his big power shot. Lukash oh. is looking to time him. Yeah. And sets him up. Fakes, fakes the punches and takes the takedown. Wee! Beautiful double leg by Lukash to see what his ground and pound is like. Using the head there to keep Adam down on the mat. See if the level of control, Dean, really that was exhibited in the discipline from Lukash to swap up the game plan. He showed the punching and then the quick level change. Went for the elbow there and Adam used that to use that underhook, Chris, and stand up. Much better for Adam here. I don't think he saw that takedown attempt coming, but he's done very well to get back to his feet. Great combination on the exit there. Adam needs to continue to lead here. Sometimes during these exchanges, both fighters fire at once. And that can be playing with fire. Lukas coming forward here. If Adam is thinking about straight punches down the line, straight down the pipe, he's having an effect with, oi, could have been a slip there. He's having a good effect with those lead teak kicks because Lukas is just coming forward. If he can start putting straight punches down the line, he might have some might have some fruitful space there. Big hooks on the side. And Lukash again, I suspect, has got to be very, very wary about the reach advantage that Smith possesses. He's either got to be in or out. Smith needs to control that distance. And right now up against the wire, no good. Great awareness from Smith to press forward. Lukash looking for the knees. Adam pinning up, looking for the double leg takedown up against the cage. Lukash sensing that, sprawls his legs out. Adam switches to a single. Back to the double. 100 percenter from Lukash. Great stuff there to manipulate him and turn him away. Both of these fighters are diligent, diligently working for the dominant position. Nice knee on the inside by Adam. Big right hand lands for Smith. And this has been another wild fight on a wild night. Belly to back here position. Lukas looking for the takedown. Trips that front leg and forces Adam forward. Now lands in side control. And what bravery from both men. They're both so happy to engage here at close proximity. But the downward elbows in control now. Twice in a row for Lukas has certainly been a factor here in this round. Nice elbows, but he didn't keep his weight down. He was on his knees there, because if you notice, he's on his knees and it allowed Adam Smith to stand up again, use that underhook and stand up. Dominant positions from Lukash able to obtain 
where he wants to be and drop those elbows down beautifully. Smith fighting hard, but he needs to think about conserving his energy. So as we all know, when you get tired, technique can go out the window. Well, you look at what happened there with Lukash, and there were some great strikes, and there was more importantly, some good successful takedowns. Let's talk about Smith. The kicking game of Smith looked very, very good early. He attacked the body. I like the way he did that on the exit. More importantly, moving backwards. That's very difficult to do. What does he need to do to be able to control the medium interim distance, Dean? Use those kicks. He used that teak beautifully, but couple it with a nice head kick on the outside. It'll come straight down the pipe. Like I said before, because Lukash comes forward, and he comes forward hard. Adam needs to keep his hands up in these exchanges. He can't afford to get caught over the top. Well, we discussed adversity during the fighters' walkouts as being really a refining feature of a fighter as they continue to grow. I think you got what you ordered in this one, Dean. Smith looking ready, though. He looks to have really uh, recovered there in between rounds. Lukas still mouth wide open, but looks to have improved a little bit as well. So I've got every bit of faith in me that we might even see a better round in this than the first. And that's saying something. Round two. Crowd really behind these two fighters. Smith now looking a bit more savvy with the striking game. Gives up his back there, but senses it and turns around looking for the underhook. 50-50 from these two fighters. Lukash opts for the break. Nice teak and a head kick. Beautiful stuff. Exactly what you had predicted he needed to do, Dean. Is to keep his hands up in those exchanges back out. He shows some good back and forth footwork at the end, of, uh, beginning of this round, excuse me. Nice knee on the inside from Adam. Lukash seems to be the more tired of the fighters of these two at the moment, Chris. And Adam now going to the head outside, but got to watch your neck. Nice roll reversal here from Lukash. Nice knee to the head from Lukash. Head pressure from Lukash on the outside. Adam's got that leg up to block the knees from Lukash. And using that wizard very nice, I like how he keeps the top of his hand all the way to the chest. It's an important aspect of that position. Smith doing that pushes Lukash away. Lukash seems to be the one that's opting to strike. Nice blocks there, keeps his hand up nice and high. I like the way Adam there, see he poured out with his lead hand. He was looking to pull the arm down and punch through the gap of Lukash. And Lukash obviously using the crown of his head to deflect those shots, Dean. Big uppercut on the inside from Lukash. Adam again looking for the double leg takedown. Lukash has got that whizzer and a wide base. Adam needs to think about switching to a single leg here. Well, there's no doubt Smith has been searching at multiple points for a takedown. Lukash using that guillotine position to switch it off. That looks pretty tight. Smith here is not, doesn't seem to be defending. He's thinking about oh, the tap. Oh, he tapped. Ho, 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 ho. And the tables are turned. Lukash jumps up onto the ring right in front of the commentary position. A noticeably disappointed Smith collapses there in the far corner. I think it was just the leverage of how he used the cage to his advantage there. He got that cinched up, tucked the head nice and tight in to his chest and used the cage to lever up. And Adam Smith just didn't have an answer how to defend and, and, and inevitably had to attack before he passed out. Now you can see Smith on his tippy toes there during the replay, Dean. It seemed to me he was trying to hand fight a little bit. It's very difficult when you get the choke on like that because the counter really is to actually take your opponent down from the opposite leg. So if your choking is happening on one side, you actually secure the opposite leg and go to a single leg and dump him down. When you're pinned up against the fence, it's nearly impossible to get such a grip. So that was a wise maneuver from Lukas, an incredible finish. Disappointed fans in the house tonight for Smith. But what a fight, what a round. What a couple of rounds here on the books. Par for the course here at the UK MMA scene. And we will go over to Mr. Buddy Johnson to get the official result. Ladies and gentlemen, round of applause for these two warriors. Come on. Our referee called a stoppage in this bout. One minute, 57 seconds of the second round. Your winner by guillotine choke in the red corner, Lukas Sviridovich.